Today we'll be talking about the physics behind short circuits. Short circuits are the most common source in creating electrical fires. They start over 28,000 fires every year, which cost over $1 billion in damages to property, and they kill hundreds and injure thousands of people. Every electrical circuit needs an electrical load, or what is usually called a resistor. This load can be any part of a circuit that consumes some or all the electrical energy. This could be either a light, a fan, or anything that is powered by some electricity. A short circuit is created when a circuit does not have any type of resistor or electrical load that's in contact with electricity in the circuit. This could be because there simply is not a resistor present in the circuit, such as when you connect the two ends of a battery together, or it could be because electricity takes a shortcut around the resistor, which happens when wires get old or torn up, causing them to create a new pathway for the electricity to follow that doesn't come in contact with the resistor. When a short circuit is created, it begins to generate heat because there's nothing there, there's no resistor or electrical load that can divert any of the electricity. Eventually, this heat develops into a spark which starts a fire, and this is an example of, an, of what an electrical fire could look like. They shut the gas off. Nowadays, in most modern houses, there is usually something in the house somewhere that looks like this. This is known as a circuit breaker, or as it is more commonly called, a breaker box. This breaker box is able to detect when a short circuit becomes present anywhere within the house, and it will then automatically shut down the power to that part of the house before that short circuit has time to start a fire. It does this by opening the part of the circuit that the electricity needs to get through in order to get to that part of the house where the short circuit is present.